think this is bizarre. That is Evgeny Sudikov from Russia. He is going to get into the ring with Tyrell Biggs as apparently they're going to uh, allow for the arrangements to be settled with Burt Cooper contractually. And Peterson and Cooper will fight next. So Tyrell Biggs and Evgeny Sudikov will be the next bout. So they have to get Tyrell Biggs ready a little bit earlier than he anticipated. They're flip-flopping fights. That's Craig Peterson. Southpaw, Australian champion. Who's in the ring. He doesn't know that he's not going to not gonna fight right now, and he, he's not sure what's going on. Uh, he's relaxed yesterday in talking with him. He was having a good time snapping pictures at the weigh-in, having a lot of fun. <laughs> he almost almost got a walkover. I don't know if he knows all that, but instead they got to get uh, Tyrell Biggs they're not telling Craig Peterson. He's not trying to get the word that he is probably not going to fight right now. Remember that old song? First you say you do, and then you don't. That's, that's, that's right. Cooper. Here's Tyrell Biggs. He looks uh, like he is warmed up and ready to go. Tyrell Biggs, who has not fought since earlier this year when he lost the wild bout to Mike the Bounty Hunter. He trained to fight Tony Tubbs. Tubbs pulled out. And then he fought the very awkward Mike the Bounty Hunter uh, who defeated Tyrell Biggs. A yeah. big setback for Tyrell. It was a tough one. He really tried hard. He's in very good shape for this competition as well. And uh, at least this time he thinks he will fight, at least in the first round, the man he was anticipating fighting. Craig Peterson has vacated the ring. That man, Sudikov, getting ready to uh, step in the ring against Tyrell Biggs. The delay really comes from the fact that Biggs was probably not quite ready to, to go because he thought he was going to be in the following fight. No, we're only kidding. Guess what? <laughs> I was just joking. Here comes Burt Cooper. He's going to fight Peterson. Okay, change number nine or ten. Well, wait a second. Sudikov is coming into the ring. <laughs> Burt. Go take a rest here. Why don't they just have whoever ends up oh. in the ring fight each other? Well, <laughs> we could be in for tag team boxing here, fans. Biggs and Sudikov are in the ring. In about a minute, I'm going to get in the ring because <laughs> I just want somebody to fight, okay? <laughs> that's it. Well, if you get in the ring, that's $20,000. Really? You think so? <laughs> I like it. All right, this is the fight that we're going to have. Tyrell Biggs and Yevgeny Sudikov. Originally supposed to be the final bout of the elimination round. It will be the seventh bout, and Burt Cooper and Craig Peterson will be in the eighth and final bout of the opening round. It looks as if some of the confusion has subsided. Michael Buffer thinks he's ready, so let's get the introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to our seventh bout. It's scheduled as number eight on the sheets that you may or may not have in your hands. This bout again is scheduled for three rounds. The referee will be Freddie Steinwinder. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks and weighs in at 224 pounds. This 1984 Olympic gold medal champion is 25 and six as a professional with 17 KOs from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyrell Pig. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, weighing 227 pounds, undefeated with a record of 3-0-1, oh, all three victories by KO. He comes to us from Ulyanov, Novak, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Evgeny Sudakov. I Ooh. can't believe Michael couldn't say Ulyanovak. <laughs> see, he's got he's got bronchitis. Normally, oh, I sail right through that. I see. Playing hurt. Playing hurt. So the coach is instructing his wrestling. When I say break, I want you to step back. Understand? Let's go. Touch gloves. All right. Tyrell Biggs. Three of his six losses have come to familiar names: Mike Tyson, Riddick Bo, Lennox Lewis. Bo stopped him March. The second of 91, then his next fight he went against Lewis, and Lewis stopped him. 
That was in November. Tell you what, he is in good shape. You can see that Tyrell Biggs got ready for this. He really trained hard for this fight. Now, here's, here's an interesting thing. Biggs coming out kind of aggressively. He's a boxer by trade. I mean boxer, not even boxer, puncher, really. Will he be able to incorporate enough aggressiveness over three rounds? Will he be tempted to go for that knockout for 20 grand? He said to you, I'm here for the money. So he Absolutely. wants to make as much money as he can during his time, but however long he goes. We talked about what this might mean to his career. He says, I'm not thinking about that. I just want to win the money. See, and there's a move that shows you, you'd never see Tyrell Biggs normally in the first round take a stab at an overhand right like mm. that. And he got tagged by the combination of Sudikov. Sudikov has fought supposedly over 300 amateur bouts. He beat Riddick Bowe in the amateurs in 1988. Good jabs by Tyrell Biggs. And that really is what he'll need to do here, I think. I mean, let's face it, that's what Tyrell Biggs, that's what he does, and that's what he does well. He's got to stay away from that hook of Sudikov. Good combination by Sudikov. Good right hand by Biggs. And remember back in the old days before we even thought about whether Bert Cooper was going to fight the bone crusher Smith won. Right. That was about 90 minutes ago. So he's been cooling his heels. Well, he's giving that eye a chance to heal a little bit. Yeah. He cut over the left eye. Bone crusher won his match over Lester Jackson, but was cut in that fight. I'll tell you what, uh, somebody forgot to sell, tell Sudikov that Tyrell Biggs was uh, Bert Sugar's favorite in this because he is going after him and he's landing some pretty good shots against Biggs. Biggs jab looks like the best he's got right now. What he wants to do is get that right hand in over it, but he's getting he's getting nailed with some pretty good shots by Sudikov. Biggs last fight was in January. Got in a good short left hook on the inside. Got caught with a right hand. Sudikov certainly not in awe of Biggs. And that right hand, I don't think Biggs was hurt. I think it was more of a stumble. I think he was off balance, got caught with a right hand as he was backing up. This is a classic case of Tyrell Biggs not being able to fight exactly his fight. Being a little concerned about it. He's being caught in between, Sam. He doesn't want to just box. He's not sure if he'll get the decision. Maybe he wants the 20 grand for the knockout in the first round, or whatever it is at this moment. <laughs> and he's caught in between, and he's had a tough first round. And you can see frustration on his face. That's a tough round to score. Sudikov did some good things, and I think Biggs did some good things as well. Reese. Oh, he's in the book. Stop waiting and look. Okay, look. Get your stuff and work your job, okay? Let that look, okay? Keep his feet. He's trying for you, okay? He's trying for you, okay? Breathe good. Start with the job, okay? That's all you gotta do with this dude. He's right there. Okay, he's right there. Come on, get him. Come on. Come on, get him. Tommy Gallagher in the corner of the Evgeny Sudikov. Punch is thrown even. Biggs landing one more. And 17 of Biggs' punches that were landed were jabs. So it's an indication you, you hit on it. That's what he does best. So does that win you the round? I don't know. That looks a little bit, uh, it looks like kind of a Merle Norman mask for, uh, <laughs> for Tyrell Biggs. Good for the complexion, I'm sure. Sudikov getting in the right hand. Not a big punch, but he has landed with it. Missed that left hook. Jab looks sharp for Tyrell Biggs. Biggs is 32 years old, has been boxing professionally since November of 84, following the Olympics in Los Angeles when he won the gold medal. Sudikov is the low with the left hook. Yeah, pretty oh, bad cut off with the left eye of Sudikov. I don't even know what opened that up. I don't know if it was a clash of heads or what. But the jab could really be a weapon that would open that cut up. Sudikov trying to drop that right hand in there. Biggs energized by that cut. 
Sudikov leading with the right several times, and now the blood dripping down. That is a nasty-looking cut. It's under the eyebrow, over the left eye of Evgeny Sudikov. Well, you know, Biggs, though, is squaring himself up, putting himself in a position to really get nailed with some punches. He's lucky that Sudikov's a little slow-handed with some of those shots. Biggs doing a good job of pushing him off, which is an illegal move, but everybody does it. Sudikov's jab is uh, not very effective. Kind of clubs with it. Biggs getting in a left hook. I'm surprised Biggs, with how good that jab is going, can't seem to get the right hand in, and that would bust up the eye even worse. That is one nasty looking cut in a bad spot over the left eye of Yevgeny Sudikov. And what it's allowed Biggs to do, if That's a push. Else, is control this round. So whether it stops the fight or not, it got Biggs into a position where he probably won this round. And even if Sudikov won the first, it puts Biggs in a position to win this fight. Now I'm wondering how if we should have waited. Maybe they should have just gotten Burt Cooper into the ring so that they couldn't change their minds anymore. Yeah, there is absolutely no guarantee that we're still going to see Burt Cooper. Your point is well taken. <laughs> he is standing by for the eighth and final bout of this elimination round. I cannot believe you're that cynical about this. <laughs> Look, they said he was fighting. That won't change. <laughs> It's, this has turned out to be mildly interesting because we have a third round coming up that could very well decide this, and Tommy Gallagher will go to work on that cut. Get his arm! Together, one, two, stop up. A lot of punches. Stop up, stop up. Hey, hey, you gotta fight your heart out. The instructions being translated, interpreted to Yevgeny Sudikov, but I think he might understand Gallagher's uh, instructions. Wow, in that round, that's interesting. Sudikov with the edge. Uh, uh, Percentage-wise, Sudikov landing 46%. Yeah, fascinating. I, I'm interested. 25 of Big's 32 connects overall have been jabs in this fight. Okay, third and final round. Tommy Gallagher, at least a little more delicate in the way he phrased that for Sudikov than it was for Derek Williams. This time he only had to fight his heart off. <laughs> we are toward the end of the first elimination round. We got one more fight to go, we think. Bert Cooper and Craig Peterson. and. Uh, so far, it's held to form basically, not any huge upsets, but uh, anything can happen. Well attended here in the under the tent at Casino Magic. The announced crowd of over 5,000 here. This is a very good facility for boxing. When you say a tent, people may think it doesn't work. It always works here. It's, uh, the climate is always good. And, uh, good sight lines, obviously. Sudikov landed a good left hook. And Biggs had to tie him up. Sudikov is going for it. Biggs is bouncing around, but not doing as much as I think he should. There's the good jabs by Biggs. Sudikov with the cut, like Bone Crusher Smith, although his cut is worse. If he wins here against Biggs, how much of an impact will that have? And I'll tell you what, the fighter he's going to face, Sutcliffe, has the ability and the wherewithal to stand the outside and jab him and open up that cut again. And he's going to have to fight that way, Sut uh, Sutcliffe, because he's not a big heavyweight. Biggs is in shape, but as has been the case many, many times in his career, just not doing as much as you expect of him. I just think the expectations were so high for Tyrell Biggs, and he hasn't lived up to them. And he had drug problems for a while. Yeah. Thank goodness for him, he has beaten. But, uh, and he's fighting Sudikov's fight right now. 
Will the judges here go on Tyrell Biggs, their familiar familiarity with Tyrell Biggs and just his reputation, if you will, or would they give the fight to Sudikov? Well, I think Biggs won the second round. The first was was close, and uh, Sudikov is winning the third here. So that's low with a right hand by Sudikov. Biggs has been good with the jab once again, but nothing behind it. Time winding down. And a close fight that will be very difficult to score. And again, no draws. Three judges at ringside do the scoring. Ten-point must system, and that's it. Bad cut over the left eye of Yevgeny Sudikov, but he survived. He was certainly game, and his... Lack of professional experience in comparison to Tyrell Biggs, I don't think showed itself at all. Not as bad. You can see how he throws his punches. He doesn't throw them in the best way possible. But in terms of uh, how he kept himself in the fight and kept fighting his game plan, no, he, he didn't look inexperienced in that sense. And it's going to be, it's a, it, it's a nail biter for Tyrell Biggs. And most people did not expect him to be in this tough a match in the first round. And as we saw, Burton and many other people, including yourself and I, thought that Biggs had yeah. a very good chance of winning this. That's a nasty cut. Tommy Gallagher working on it. Trying to get it to close up. Sudikov will have a couple of, about three bouts to recuperate. Pretty even. Sudikov with a slight edge. And maybe the difference there is most of Sudikov's punches were power punches, and almost everything that Tyrell Biggs landed were jabs. Michael Buffer has the scorecards and the decision for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Martin Casino scores about 29-28. He has it for a Sudikov. Chester Como scores about 30-27 to 27 for Biggs. And Billy Moran scores about 29-28 for the winner on split decision, Tyrell Biggs. It's a split decision, and you can hear the crowd reaction. I think the crowd reaction is split, if not a little more the other way. Tyrell Biggs gets by on a split decision. And some incredulous looks in the corner of Sudikov as we look at Tyrell Biggs. He got uh, a reprieve, and they're mad. Yeah, Sudikov's corner upset. His handers upset. Sudikov, competitive. Tyrell Biggs able to squeeze by and win the split decision. A tough one. Let's go back to the locker room 